Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation. But remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation here, the square root of n equals the square root of uh, 2n, excuse me, 2n minus 6. Well, the square roots are on both sides of the equation, and they're already isolated. So all I have to do is square both sides. And that will eliminate the square roots. Square root uh, squared is just when we um, get eliminated, we're left with n equals on the right hand side 2n minus 6. Well, I'm going to subtract the 2n to both sides, get the n's together. n minus 2n is negative n equals negative 6. And then I'm going to divide by negative 1, essentially just bring the negative over, leaving me with n equals negative 6 divided by negative 1 is a positive 6. So we have n equals positive 6 here. Fantastic, but we need a check. So let's do our check. So by checking, I'm going to rewrite my equation. Square root of n equals the square root of 2n minus 6. And now I'm going to plug 6 in for n. Square root of 6 here on the left, which is fantastic. Uh, 2 times 6 minus 6. 2 times 6 is 12. So we have 12 minus 6 here. Then 12 minus 6 is just a positive 6. Excuse me, my left and right equations are equal. Fantastic. Check. We are good. Let's make a better check. Yeah, big old check. Okay. Which is good. Confirming we have no extraneous solutions and n equals 6 is my true and final answer. So let's recap. We're given the square root of n equals the square root of 2n minus 6. I squared both sides, right, leaving me with just n on the left and 2n minus 6 on the right. I had to combine my like terms, so I subtracted the 2n to both sides leaving me with a negative n equals a negative 6. Divided by negative 1 to both sides, getting rid of the, really the negatives, and I have n equals 6 right there, positive 6. I need to check that, so I rewrote my equation and plugged 6 in for both n's. In doing so, I needed to simplify 2 times 6, which was 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. The left-hand side didn't need to be simplified, so we have the square root of 6 on the right and square root of 6 on the left now. That is equal, right? They are equal, so we check off, we're good. No extraneous solutions and confirms that n equals 6 is my final answer.